I'm Matt from Janky Shack, and today we're going to find out whether or not I just wasted $200 by buying these computers on Craigslist. So, the whole idea of this project is to see if I can get two computers to play Overwatch and we can go online and go in all the way to Bronze League. So, I, bought, I picked these up from a guy on Craigslist for $100 each. We're going to see if we can put anything into these things and get them to actually play some video games. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and open this thing up and see what's, what it's got in it. Uh, I did some research online, well on the Craigslist ad, and what it was a, uh, what they claim to have in it is an i5 CPU. It's not a, it's not a, a 2500K or 3570K or anything fancy, um, but I think we'll have pretty good results with it. Um, it is a supposedly third gen i5. Um, it's the S um, at the end, which means low power, so it won't be doing any overclocking with this one. Uh, however, uh, I think it should have enough horsepower when we put a decent video card in here to uh, sustain at least Overwatch, which is a pretty well optimized game. Uh, we'll, we'll test some other games out too and see what it does. Um, when I open this thing up, the first thing that I notice is uh, it uses some kind of funky non standard uh, power supply. So hopefully um, we'll have enough power to run the video code we want, which, uh, what's this thing say, 240 watts. Um, we might be cutting it kind of close. Uh, I guess we'll have to see what it does. The video card that we're planning on using, that I'm planning on using for this build is going to be uh, a low profile model, obviously, because we have a half pipe case here. It's going to be either a GTX 1050 or Gen 1050 Ti which are the new Pascal and video cards that came out uh, not too long ago. They got some pretty good uh, amount of power for a 75 watt video card which uh, we'll be able to use in here because it doesn't use any additional power connectors. Uh, as you can see here it has uh, one PCI Express XT XT16 slot which is uh, all we'll need for this and we'll have to be use the two slots for the fan exhaust. Uh, hopefully it'll be uh, long enough in here to fit, to fit in here without uh, going against the CPU cooler. So it's got a 240 watt power supply. It's got a 500 gig uh, rotating disk hard drive here, which you know it's not an SSD, but should be able to get us in the game. Uh, we got a CD drive, which we'll probably wind up disconnecting so that we can keep as much power as we can for the video card. And uh, got a single fan here, single uh, another fan here in the, in the uh, power supply. And uh, I'm sure the new video card will come with one or two fans to exhaust out the back. Um, I'll have to check the direction of this fan. Hopefully it's pulling air into the case and not out the front so that we can get a uh, good airflow in this direction. And we won't be causing any uh, dead spaces in the case or cavitation of the fans. Uh, it does have a, a one free RAM slot open and according to the guy that I bought it from, uh, it, come, it has one 4 gigs module in there now with uh, a spot for a second one. So, since I bought two of these, maybe you'll be able to rob the stick out of the other one, get 8 gigs, should be in business. Uh, I do have two, sticks to, two additional sticks of RAM uh, laying around in the pile of trash from the, my personal junkyard of computers. Alright, so I'm going to go through some of the uh, accessories, well, other things that, you might, that you're going to need for a build like this. Um, the first thing you can notice here is that whenever you have monitors, this one has onboard video because it is a third generation uh, i5 I processor. Uh, anything second generation or newer is going to have uh, onboard video. We have the uh, old VGA and then the newer DVI style plug. You're always going to want to use this white one if, if possible, if it's available. Or you can use HDMI or DisplayPort if they, if they manage to have that. And then when you get your video card, uh, any newer video card is going to have those options as well. So you have the, the old style blue cable. This is pretty much obsolete. I would avoid this at all costs. Uh, you're definitely going to see degraded video uh, quality with this. I mean, obviously use it if you have to. Um, the next step up is going to be this white cable here. This is a, what's called a DVI. And this is 
this is the next step up. Um, you're not going to see any degraded performance by using this, but it does not include audio if, you're, if your uh, monitor has speakers in it. Uh, you'll have to use a separate cable for that, which is not a problem if you use headphones, but the HDMI is obviously by far the easiest to plug in. It doesn't have any weird screws on the side. Um, it also transfers audio through it as well. So HDMI or display port, unfortunately I don't have any display port here today to show you, but it looks similar to the HDMI. It just has a, a little bit different shape to it. Um, that's what I would get if you can find it. If not, use what you can. Uh, the object of this is to be as cheap as possible. Obviously, then when it comes to keyboards, uh, you got the standard USB keyboard and the old style, what's called a PS2, not PlayStation 2. That's what this port is called. It's round. Um, looks like this. There's an even older one. It's called a Gen 5. Don't even bother with that. Throw in the garbage. There's no computer that you're going to be able to play any video game that you want with that old Gen 5 keyboard. Um, as far as the difference between these two connectors, um, actually, this old style PS2 port, well, let me go through the advantage and disadvantage of both of them. Uh, the USB is easily, is easily available. This is a new style, is what everyone uses now. Um, the advantage is you can plug it in and out when the computer's on and the, computer, the keyboard will work. Um, the disadvantage of the USB one is uh, you can only push up to six keys at the same time, otherwise it won't register. And if you have a lot of things plugged in the US, same USB bus, uh, you can get degraded performance. I don't think that's really an issue, uh, but that is a technical reason why it's a con. This old style PS2 works great. You can push apparently more than six keys, although I don't know. This is what I use um, on my game computer. Uh, it's from Windows, it says Windows 98 on the bottom. Still works fine. Um, the disadvantage of this is you have to have it plugged in from before you turn the computer on. Also, it's color coded, they're purple. If you have two ports on the back of the computer, you must plug it in the purple one. You, the green one's for the mouse, and the, computer, the keyboard will not work if you plug it in there. Um, but yeah, if you unplug it and plug it back in while the computer's on, you have to restart the computer, otherwise the keyboard won't work. Some older computers, you probably won't run into this, but uh, some of the older computers won't even boot unless you have the keyboard connected. That's for the old PS2 style. Um, as far as mice go, uh, I'm going to be using this mouse that I got off, off Amazon for about $12. It's, a, it's an optical mouse, it's not a laser, but it's cheap. It, I've been using it for about two years. Uh, it functions good, it's a USB easy to use and then for a power cable you're going to need a standard um, 110 volt or whatever you country you're from with that kind of end on it and um, that's pretty much it you might need a Phillips head screwdriver number two uh, there's a size on the screwdriver whenever you buy it make sure you don't use one that's too small although it's very easy to do that you'll just strip out the screw head um, we're also going to use I'm going to be using this kilowatt um, power meter to display, to figure out how much power this thing is actually drawing so that I'll know um, whether or not this power supply is going to be okay. I mean, it says it's 240 watts. Um, it says it's capable of putting out uh, 16 amps on the 12 volt rail, which is pretty much what anything goes by these days for video cards. And your CPU power, so 12 volt rail is what you want to look at. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna plug in the power cord and we're gonna plug it into our kilowatt power measuring machine. And we're gonna see what it does. I see some lights going on in there. I'll push the power button. Well, actually, before we do that, I'm going to connect the PS2 keyboard. I don't know why, just, I've been using these things on some computer expos, which none of you probably even know what that is because the internet pretty much destroyed that. And we're going to plug it in right here to the purple port. Purple, they should be color coded on the keyboard. Um, the crustier the keyboard, the better. Just kidding. Use whatever you have. Uh, we're going to use the DVI because it is superior to the uh, VGA cable. And if, if you use one of those adapters, you'll notice in here that this one 
has uh, just that little slot there. It doesn't have the four pins on the side. If you use the adapter to use a, a DVI port on the motherboard to a VGA cable, make sure that the female port on the motherboard here has four little four little holes right here above and below this slot. Otherwise, uh, the VGA adapter will not work. So just keep that in mind. Uh, we'll plug this in here. We'll also plug in our mouse. And here we go. Oh, the old spinning disc hard guys. I haven't used one of these in so long. They're so slow. And we might be able to squeeze an SSD upgrade in this thing at one time, but we'll see what we got here. So let's go to... So we have, looks like a Core uh, i5-3470S at 2.9 gigahertz, which should be adequate for what we need. I guess we're going to find out. It has a uh, Windows 10 64-bit operating system, which is good because it will allow us to put more RAM in here. Otherwise, if you use a 32-bit, you'll be limited to less than 4 gigs. And at this point, we're just going to have to download some download uh, Overwatch and see what we can do until we get that video card. Here we are with the gameplay. We're running on lowest settings, 50% render scaling, and getting 25 FPS. Pretty bad.